accused of carrying out the shooting spree at the Navy Yard had brushes with the law over a number of years, including arrests for gun-related incidents. CCTV's Jim Spellman has more on the troubled past of Aaron Alexis. The first signs of trouble for accused Navy Yard shooter Aaron Alexis go back to at least 2004 in the U.S. city of Seattle. Police there arrested him for firing three bullets into the tires of a construction worker's car who had parked in a driveway next to his house. Suddenly, I heard a, a gun sound. Bang! He admitted to the crime in Seattle that day, claiming he was in a blackout fueled by anger. His father told police he suffered from post-traumatic stress disorder after being, quote, an active participant in rescue attempts of September 11, 2001. In 2007, he joined the U.S. Navy. He was in the ready reserve, which is a, uh, he doesn't drill, he, there's no contact day to day with the Navy. Uh, just if, if there's a general mobilization, he would be one of the ones mobilized. His military career was marked by what naval officials describe as a pattern of misconduct, including a 2008 arrest for disorderly conduct. Police took this mugshot photo as they booked him into jail for two nights. In 2010, while he was based in Fort Worth, Texas, police would again arrest Alexis after a report that he accidentally fired a gun into the apartment above him. Despite at least three run-ins with police, two involving gunfire, there is no indication at this point that he was ever convicted of a crime. In 2011, he left the Navy with a general discharge, a category that indicates a troubled military career that would later be changed to an honorable discharge after Alexis appealed the Navy's decision. He remained in Texas and began worshiping at this Buddhist temple. Are you shocked by what, what you're oh, learning? Oh, yes. How would you describe him? Quiet person and a good person. He worked in a local restaurant, attended college, learned to speak Thai, and was hired by a government contractor. He went to Japan. He was sent on the contractor's job to Japan um, for a month, and that was from November to December. And he... Um, got back and he felt very slighted about his benefits at the time. Financial issues, he wasn't getting paid on time. In Fort Worth, he was known to carry a gun. He seemed like that kind of a guy. He seemed like the kind of guy that would just, you know, just he liked to have weapons, but he never acted like he would hurt anyone. And according to the Associated Press, Alexis had sought mental health treatment in the last few months from the Veterans Administration and reported, quote, hearing voices. Police say Aaron Alexis arrived in Washington in August after being hired as a contract IT worker at the Navy Yard. He had been staying at this hotel since September 7th. The police have a good idea of his movements leading up to the shooting, why he went on the rampage, and could it have been stopped are questions that remain unanswered. Jim Spellman, CCTV, Washington.